I think he'll go all the way. Um, I can see Formula One eventually. He's, he's got uh, tremendous potential. He'll make it to the top. You may not know the face yet, but you know the name. Hill. Graham Hill in his BRM number three takes an early lead and he beats Bandini to win. Graham Hill was one of British sport's greatest ever personalities, with the emphasis on personality. He had a humour, a warmth, a gift for the memorable line that took his fame and reputation to a public far beyond his achievements in a racing car, and they were considerable enough. He was world champion twice, won the classic Monaco Grand Prix a record five times, and was the only man in history to win the world championship Le Mans and Indianapolis. But then, a few months after he retired to run his own team, the plane he was piloting crashed in thick fog near Elstree Airfield. Hill, his driver Tony Bryce, and four other members of the team were killed. It was nine years ago tomorrow. Damon Hill was just 15 then, and while motor racing had lost a legend, he and his two sisters had lost far more. I um, was just really getting to know him, I suppose. Um, beginning to able to understand what he was up to and um, and go and do things with him but um, so that was uh, I, I feel like if he was still around maybe I'd be working for the racing team or something like that um, although I imagine I'd still want to race but Damon's mother Betty in Hong Kong for the Macau Grand Prix told Murray Walker that Graham didn't want his son to race no he always hoped he wouldn't you know because Graham was he knew what what it was all about and he didn't want a son of his to especially his only son to go into it but race he has first successfully with motorbikes and now like his father in single-seater cars the switch came when he was asked to race a formula ford last year amid because of the name enormous interest and publicity it did not however go well well my first race was a bit of a traumatic experience um, i was sort of launched into the fray of the top formula to 40,000 drivers at the time and uh, that was December last year and not having had much experience um, I was a bit overwhelmed and came up they came up to lap me and I looked at my mirrors and freaked out and spun the car and uh, sat there for a couple of laps not being able to go anywhere and I sat at the bottom of the corner at Paddock which is quite a daunting corner anyway and these cars were hurtling down towards me I couldn't move and I didn't fancy it much at all. I came into the pits and was as white as a sheet and said, uh, you know, I don't think, I think I'm in the way a bit. Despite those first trembling moments in a racing car, Damon was hooked. Sugar 2.7, um, MT Southwest 11. He works as a London dispatch rider to help finance his racing and not just to earn money, but to search for it as well. Originally, I used to go looking for sponsors in my work as a dispatch rider. I'd go to companies I'd never heard of before and um, I'd uh, take down the name of their sales manager or marketing manager, send a letter off to them. You, know, you can take in hundreds and hundreds of companies that way, and you actually already know a little bit about these people because you've been there. And um, that was one way of uh, taking in the sponsorship side of things, and Rico Copy is one of the people I actually delivered something to one day. I hadn't, I hadn't heard of them up until then, and I thought, well, I'll try them, you know, they must have a little bit of money. And, um, they finally came through, so in fact, uh, dispatch riding could be the way I got my uh, sponsorship. It might be said that Damon has won his sponsorship and support on his father's name. His mother thinks otherwise. I think in many ways, having Graham as a father and not being here to help him has um, made it a lot more difficult in many ways. I mean, obviously people are very warm towards him, but he's had to prove that he has the ability, the determination, and not everyone was prepared to, to help him simply because he was Graham Hill's son. He had to, had to produce the goods. And since the trauma of that first race produced them, he has. There are Bancroft and Hill, fourth and fifth. So the fight in the race at the present moment on the 11th lap is between the two British drivers, Jonathan Bancroft, who is driving a Reynard in the green car there, Damon Hill, number 92, in a Van Diemen. Bancroft. Hill over. 
His driving at the Formula Ford Festival at Brands this month has won him much admiration, with confident predictions of future success. Well, he's progressed uh, immensely. He started off as just a pure, what I would call amateur driver when he first came to us. Um, he's been with us now and done 10 races plus the Ford Festival, and I think the Ford Festival proved how much he has progressed. He came fifth out of about 200 world-class drivers, I would say. This early family snap was clearly a sign of things to come, but now, as a man of 24, does he drive like his dad? I think probably there is a similarity because he was not, uh, I think most people would agree, a natural. Um, he wasn't one of these people who could turn his hand to it and not think about it and just step in the car and be quick. He worked at everything he did. And I feel, that's if, if I feel that nothing's going to come to me easily. I have to work at it. And um, I, I believe that um, in that respect I am similar. For nearly 20 years, the colours of the London Rowing Club were carried throughout the world on the racing helmet of Graham Hill. Today, those same colours are back on the track with Damon, and the months ahead will decide if they'll ever return once again to their familiar stage, the Formula One World Championship. I wouldn't say I'm a pessimist, but I'm trying to, try to keep it as realistic as possible. Um, I started racing with a proper budget and a proper car in August of this year. Hopefully you get a good car, get a good team, and you can come out top 